Hi guys, it's Hanhi. I'm back after years. Um, yeah, I've just been so busy with school and moving. I'm so sorry. Um, but I have some more time now currently and I really wanted to try making like a Sims Let's Play, like a gameplay video. And I wanted to do this leprosy challenge and most of you guys probably know it because I'm probably so late. I just recently found this out a couple weeks ago and it's a leprosy, which is kind of like a legacy challenge where you, you know your sim keeps having babies and it adds on to the generations and whatever. But with a leprosy, as you can tell with the EP in that word, means expansion pack. So every generation we're going to move on to a new expansion pack and explore new features, whatever. So I actually am going to follow a set of rules for this challenge. I know some people just play like the, oh, I'm going to move on to an expansion pack every new generation. But I think it'll be just be more interesting and more spicy, more challenging maybe to follow a written set of rules. These rules I found for this leprosy challenge is by Dolly Bats, I think, or Ugly Normie. I'm really not sure how Tumblr works. I don't know who the author is. Um, I'm, I never was a Tumblr girl, whatever. So anyways, so this, the rules for Generation 1, which is in the base game, is the recommended town is Sunset Valley. And yes, we're here in Sunset Valley. And my sim should get a career of their choice. It must be from base game. I should have my sim meet the love of their life, either from work or even a pedestrian. You cannot get married until you reach level 4. You cannot have kids until you reach level 4. I think like stuff like this is really interesting. Because if I didn't have this set of rules, there's just so many possibilities. Like I could literally just get married right now. I could literally have like 5 kids, whatever. And I think... I'm really unoriginal, so I wouldn't really know where I would go with this gameplay if I didn't have these rules. So I'm so glad for these rules. Also, my sim should pick up a hobby, reach at least between level 3 to 5, and then I should have a boy and a girl, or as many as I want. But like I said, if they don't give me like a set rule, I'm probably going to have like 10 babies or whatever. So I think I'm just gonna go for a boy and a girl. And then it says complete aspiration or reach the top of your career. So actually, I'm on day two of this game because I had I did such a bad job explaining everything. So I wanted to record again. Um, but yeah, we're only on day two right now. I'll explain more on her later, but let me just give her give you guys a little introduction. She's flirty. She's daredevil. She has commitment issues. She's athletic and she's grumpy. But since she had this athletic trait, I wanted her to be, um, do the military career and then since her lifetime wishes to master three different skills I think it would have been better than the actual sports career because the sports career only really require like athletic I don't know if it required charisma but it's like really later on in the career anyways so I thought maybe military would be better because you do require handiness skill as well so those are two skills that I might be able to master plus the rule said she should pick up a hobby so I feel like we could do the two skills required for the career and then we can also pick up a hobby and then we can fill we can master three of those skills like that so I think I could play it like that um she's already she already has the athletic and the charisma she, in the first day of the gameplay I had her take a charisma class because that was one of her wishes. About her, her name's Hatsuko Bakugo. She's actually a sim from my personal game I was playing. Um, I was per like playing my own leg legacy game. It's currently up to five generations, um, but I was just getting so bored playing that because I was just playing... It's, it wasn't a challenge or anything, it was just my game. And five generation, that's a lot of sims and eventually like, you know, they're getting the same jobs, they're doing the same things and I don't, I tech don't usually like play other expansion packs honestly. Oh yeah, I have all the other expansion packs installed. I forgot to mention that. I'm not gonna install an expansion pack every time I have to because I feel like that's just too much of a hassle and I'm lazy. Um, and my sims, they might be wearing some clothes from other expansion packs or like furniture. I'm not sure. Like, like I said, I also have like another save file. So I don't want to mess anything up by installing and uninstalling and all of that. So I'm just going to keep the expansion packs. But 
what I was gonna say is that, yeah, I don't play with any of my expansion packs, usually. Like, yeah, I have them all installed for, like, the co content purposes, but I do not really use the features of them. For example, World Adventures, I never go out to travel into the future. I've literally never been into the future. Uh, Supernaturals, I've never played with a cult sim. All that stuff. Even the seasons right now, I did disable it. So it's just gonna be summer for the whole span of my gameplay until we do reach seasons. Also, my lunar cycle is set to not cycle, so it's not gonna matter. But yeah, for my personal gameplay, because I don't use any of the expansion packs or its features, it just gets boring. And I just really wanted to try out playing this Leprosy because I feel like I would be forced to use certain features. I'm forced to move my sims out. Like, I also hate moving my sims around. That's one of the big reasons why I actually don't really like the Sims 4 because it's not an open world. I have to like go through loading screens every time I want to do something. So that's why it gets really boring because I just stay in my house. My I make my Sims stay at my house in Sims 4 and all that. So yeah, I don't really move towns or anything. So I've been playing Sunlit Tides for the past five generations, which is like 26 Sim weeks. The point is I'm bored. I wanted to do a challenge, but I did want to continue using the Sims from my gener my legacy from my other game because I really do... I really play Sims for like the genetic side of it because I'm really curious how my Sims end up. I've actually never played a Legacy that long before. Usually I get bored with the game because I don't do anything really quickly. I usually just try to get their lifetime wish and they have kids, but I have like 10 kids in that one generation. So then it gets out of hand really quickly and then I just start a new save. That's what I usually do. So it's the first time I've been playing this one family tree for a really long Okay, I think maybe she should go home. It's freaking 11. Um, so it's the first time I've been playing this one family tree for really long, and I do not want to give up on that. So I did use Enros's Porter mod to bring my sims over here to Sunset Valley. Um, so she's actually... She was actually a teenager, literally just about to age up to a young adult from my old game. So I was like, this is perfect. I'll just move her over here and have her be my new founder for this leprosy challenge. So as you can see from my old game, she had a whole family tree, but yeah, she's alone now because I moved her over here. I actually moved her family and uh, my other Sims over here as well, but it doesn't seem like they're getting recognized as her relatives in this thing because I didn't move her parents over or anything just like I only moved over like the younger generation because most of like her parents and everyone was becoming elders about to die type of shit so I did not care I did want to retain my family tree that's why I've been kind of stubbornly just playing in sunlit tides for so long just because I wanted to retain an end game family tree and see how long it goes um obviously I can't, I have no reason to do that. I'm bored anyways. I'm doing this for fun, so I'm not going to do that. But yeah, I've been making a family tree on the Plum Tree app. And yeah, these are some of my sims. So you're going to, this is Sunset Valley. So they're going to have the Sunset Valley sims that you guys all know. And then if you guys see any sim that looks weird, wearing costume content, all of that, that's because they're my sims from my period previous save. I moved them over. Not because I want to interact with them or continue their story or whatever, but more like I just want to see what story progression does with them. If they'll get married. I just want to have them continue my legacy while we're more focused on Hatsuko over here. Um, She's eating. Did I make ask her to do that? Whatever. Anyways, yeah, so we're in this starter home. She has two thousand uh, dollars assimilians because she actually had like two hundred thousand because when I moved her over here from Porter, she just had all her funds. So I just kind of removed that using cheats, and then she did go to one day of work. That's why she does have a little bit more. And as you can tell, I did not decorate this house at all. I'm a terrible builder. 
and I do not ever build. I tend to just use exactly what EA gives me. I just feel like, why not? I know a lot of people think like the houses are ugly or the sims are ugly or whatever in the sims. But I am so bad at decorating that I kind of just accept it. And to me, since a like, game developed, like EA made it, I feel like it's supposed to be quote unquote certified that these are like, this is like a good house. Um, but yeah, obviously a lot of people will disagree. But since I have no knowledge or care about how my house looks, I just tend to just go with it. It's simple. I feel like it's just iconic, nostalgic base game, whatever. And yeah, even like my Sims outfit, it's all just base game. I do not use, I use custom co custom content like makeup, hair, but I never tend to use clothing or anything, furniture, or anything like that. Because like I said, I just like kind of like the EA basic, it, I feel like it's just iconic. Because it gives me like the Sims 2 vibes. With Sims 2, I never really ever used custom content. Um, okay, it's 5 a.m. Does she have work? Two hours. She, her phone is low. Does she not have a TV? Ooh, maybe I might have to do that. But yeah, with like Sims 2, you know how it's there's l very little like customizing you can do? Like the clothes are in sets. Like it's really hard to... There's not a lot of options. It's, you can't really do anything with your clothes in The Sims 2. Which is low-key frustrating, but at the same time, I really... I just think that's like... The vibe, the aesthetic of the game. It's like the old vibe. Whatever. And I kind of like that. Okay, which TV should I get? I think I'll get this one. Just because there's a lot more options. And I do want to start saving my money. Because I do want to move into a better house. And I'm not planning on using sheets or anything. Or adding on to this house. So I really need to save money. To be able to... Move to a better house soon. Okay, I'm just going to use base game stuff. See, I really am also hesitant about deleting the current items like the house gave me. Because like, they're low-key technically like you know matching like the furniture is like the couches are matching they're matching this room um in my opinion <laughs> so if i like delete them and if i do suddenly want that lay layout again i'm gonna have to redo that and i do not want to redo that because i don't know how i would match it because i'm terrible at decorating so yeah i'm just gonna keep these chairs do that she can watch TV so there's going to be a lot of maybe k-pop not a lot but since my saved like my game my sims from my previous game um they have like roots in anime and k-pop because <laughs> I really like I'm really unoriginal I hate making like my own skimp sims from scratch because they end up all looking the same so I like using like real life people as inspiration or characters from anime or cartoons. Since then, they have like a character or something. So I can build off of that. Obviously, like with cartoon characters, I can't make them look exactly the same as a cartoon because obviously the Sims art style is different from like maybe like Adventure Time or yeah, My Hero Academia. So I, I have to kind of like be creative with that and be like oh i think this is how they'll look like in the sims which i really find really think it's fun i also do it with like real life celebrities but i feel like it's a lot harder to do that especially in the sims because like the creative sim options are so hard to maneuver compared to sims 4 like with sims 4 i could make i like my sims look exactly like a real life person but with sims 3 that's harder and it takes a lot longer. But I do have a couple sims based on real life people. Like NCT, haha. As you can tell, I actually heard their last names changed. But yeah. Um, we might meet my saved sims, my previous sims, throughout our gameplay. Like I said, I'm not going to try to like focus on them specifically. If you guys want me to do like a little introduction as we play 
as we go throughout our gameplay, I will definitely do that. So she's going to work. Let's meet some soldiers. She, I don't think she's met anyone at work yet. So this is her boss. Okay, I'm going to come back when she's off of work. Andrew's at work. She's met Sunny. Um, and she made a little money. She's so tired. I don't know why. I think I was just carried away getting carried away with talking and i didn't notice that she didn't sleep that long yeah she should have been sleeping instead of watching that tv maybe um i'll make her go take a nap at home but as i was saying so with my previous game i had like sims that i made based off of real life people and characters that's why her name is her last name's bakugo her grand great grandfather is actually the Bakugo. The Katsuki Bakugo. So that's why her name is Bakugo. I don't know if that's weird. Um. Oh, we should- did I- Did I cancel the newspaper service on the first day? I do not remember. She does have a sister and a brother, actually. They're not showing up, like, earlier. She doesn't have them connected to her for some reason. I think it's because I kind of did something wrong while I was moving them over. From the old world. But yeah, her brother is, where is he, Ichiro, and then her sister, it's Mitsuko. I'm probably like really butchering your name pronunciations. I've never really learned Japanese like that. I'm Korean. I just looked up some Japanese names creating these sims. So, I apologize if they're not accurate, or if my pronunciation is weird. Okay, she's going to sleep sleep. Let's like, do something, it's your first day. Yeah, I think I'll end the episode here, since she definitely needs to go to sleep and just go to work tomorrow. And then I'll just begin the next episodes when she's able to do something. I need you guys to help me find a lover for her. Potential people she should meet. And she does have a flirty... Non and has commitment issues so i mean she could honestly get with several sims i just don't know who she's just so pretty like everyone's probably out of her league in this town so if you guys have any, have any suggestions please let me know i don't have any social media right now i might have to make a new twitter specifically for my sims and for the sims community so let me know if you guys want me to do that as well well, I'll see you guys in the next episode.